So I'm out here sanding some trios today. And uh, it's a beautiful day, September. These are going to be snowmen. Because that's how you do it. And actually, in the crafting world, snowmen should be made in July, not September. But I'm um, behind. Whatever. It's all good. Anyway, I'm using this stuff. And this is really rough. The, the supply of wood I got. Um, and this batch is really, really rough. So I got to start with a really rough grit sandpaper. So I'm going to start with the 60 today. And I've already done one set right here. I don't know how well you can see on the camera it comes out. But it's, it's way smoother than this, which is what this started as, that. And that's just one time with the 60. Okay, don't stay there. And then we're going to come back and we're going to do it with this one, which is 80. It's a step above the 60, which will make it even smoother. After that, I'm going to come back and do not that one because they're out of order. Or that one either. This one. <laughs> the 120. That's next. And for my purposes, those three are pretty much done. Once I hit the 120... The trios are all set to paint, and the smoother finish you can get on the wood, the better the paint finish you're going to get. The paint will go on nice and smooth. A fun little insight into how I sand my stuff. Um, so when I when people hear me say, oh, I'm sanding today, they don't think I'm just taking a little sanding block and ch -ch -ch. no. Nope. I'm using three of these, going over these at least three times, so... All good. Have a great day.